Well, hello there, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over how to set a custom filter setting that you can quickly toggle between. And then from there, how to set up a custom push notification based on your custom filters. So let's, let's get started. So from the dashboard, you can open up your advanced filter panel from there. And you can see at the top, it has a drop down that'll have all of your existing filter settings. So I have one called playground. That's where I hang out most of the time where I just change things throughout the day. So I just have a filter where, you know, I'm constantly changing things. Um, then I have a bunch of others, but as you can see, you could manage what you already have. So you could, you could edit the filters um, associated with it. You could rename them, you could delete them, um, and then you can create a new one. So let's create a new one and we'll call it video filter because we're making this filter for the video. And you can see the filters reset and now we're in the video filter setting. So now what we'll do is we'll apply, let's do the S&P 500 and let's do days to expiration, we'll do seven. That'll include zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven day expiration contracts. And we will do a minimum premium of 100,000. Now that S&P filter that I put on, that is actually the top 25 highest weighted symbols within the S&P. So the ones that actually have the potential to move the S&P 500. Um, so I like to look at those when I'm, when I'm trying to see the sentiment of where SPY is gonna be going. So now we have our, our filter set. You can see video filter, it has those filters. If I switch back to playground, it'll revert back to the settings that I had previously. And if I revert back to video filter, it has the filters that we just applied. So now from there, if you wanted to create a push notification or a text alert, or soon we'll, we're gonna have a mobile app as well that you'll be able to have push notifications as well. You'll click this bell and you'll see create new alert. So we'll create a new alert and we're gonna turn on the one that we just created, video filter. And we'll come down here. We'll click options flow because we want the fill. We want we want to be alerted based on the options uh, orders. Or if you if you set filters for the dark pool side, you would just click equities and dark pool, and then you'd be alerted based on trades that occur on this side that meet your parameters. But since our filters were all options related, aside from the S and P, we'll go with this, and then we'll name it video alert, and then. This mess, whatever you put here is going to be um, what shows up on the, at the top of the text alert, similar to if you have the highly unusuals, it'll say highly unusual sweep detected or whatever. This will say video trade and then underneath it'll have the actual trade details. You can also, if you wanted to, let's say it was a shorter term, you don't want this alert to be forever. You just want it maybe for three days, you could set an expiration date for the alert. So after that, you'll no longer be alerted. You just hit create alert and boom, you now have a custom alert that anytime a trade comes in that meets these parameters, you'll either get a text if you have text alerts, you'll get a browser push notification. And when the app comes out, you'll be able to do a push notification on your phone. So that is how you set up a filter and how you set up a custom alert. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.